morning. You ready? Get up. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> I know. Are you ready to get up out of bed? Hello, good morning. Uh, I'm getting a pretty late start <clears throat> to my morning. Just dropped Arlo off. He was like sleeping in, so I didn't really want to wake him up. Um, we are just a sleeping kind of family. We're not morning people. <laughs> but anyways, um, it's a little after, or it's 10 to nine. Got my energy drink because I didn't have time to make pre-workout this morning so I just grabbed this one from the fridge and we're on our way to the gym. It is 28 degrees but with the wind chill I guess it feels like 13 so that's hence why I'm bundled up like this. It is freezing. So I'm going to be doing a day in the life vlog. I didn't even tell you that. <laughs> Welcome, <laughs> welcome to my day in the life vlog. Um, I kind of take, I took the week off of my weekly vlog because, um, not like off of filming for the week, but just for the weekly vlog because Scott's birthday was on Tuesday, but I we celebrated it on Monday and did just like a full fun day of Monday things that Scott likes to do. We went golfing, we went to a really nice restaurant. We just like. I got him coffee and breakfast in bed. Like we just did stuff for Scott for his birthday on Monday because Monday is Martin Luther King Day and he had the day off and it was right before his birthday. So we did that um, and yeah, it was a uh, good weekend. We went up to, um, I don't even think I talked to you about any of that. I didn't, I'm all over the place. It's hard to keep up, yo. So uh, we went to Scott's friend from high school's ranch this weekend which was a lot of fun it was like two and a half hours outside of Dallas I know I mentioned it um, but I didn't say how it went it was awesome you guys we went out one night um, around the town and it's like super close to stuff still it's really cool it's in this place called Gilmer Gilmer Texas we learned about the history of the yam queen and like all this crazy stuff it was really cool to a brewery and then we went to a winery and Scott and I fell in love with it and we're like this would be the perfect place to have a wedding they hold weddings we talked to the owner she was the sweetest lady her name is Deb it was just really cool and we honestly might consider it it's like I don't think I talked about the fact that our New York venue that I fell in love with um completely like raised 50% like like you won't have a wedding there for under two grand 200 grand it's insane so I think we need to change our our perspective and just switch it up and I think that's what we've decided so this was obviously just the first venue but it's really cool um, <clears throat> and they have little like Airstream campers out that people can rent but it's like classy and cute I don't know nonetheless we went there and um, yeah it was fun so that's what we were up to this weekend so I took the beginning half of the week off just to kind of like get my life together a little bit and celebrate Scott so it was fun um but I figured I would just do a whole day in the life vlog today it is Thursday this will go up on Sunday yeah so I'm on my way to the gym and then we're gonna do a bunch of stuff it is hair washing day my hair is just really freaking dirty and my scalp is having major major issues I ordered this scalp oil this pre shampoo scalp oil because I've heard amazing things about it and I decided to order it on his website it's GV G, GVN I'll link the oil down below you can get it at Sephora though and I highly recommend getting it at Sephora oh the reason I didn't get it at Sephora is because it was sold out at the time that's why so I ordered it on their personal like website and guys I ordered it like I think a week and a half ago and it still hasn't even like shipped so it's kind of frustrating but I get it I get it um, but anyways I ordered a couple things because there was like a minimum order but the scalp oil pre shampoo scalp serum oil stuff is like has really great reviews and a lot of people said it helped with dandruff so I'm interested to try it out and see um, and then if not I just need to make a dermatologist appointment like I had said in the past because my scalp like psoriasis is getting out of control um, but anyways yeah <laughs> I don't know what else we're gonna get up to today but I'm gonna bring you along we're gonna do it together um, I love vlogging it is honestly 
is my favorite because it feels like when I have to sit film sit down videos I still love them it's fun but it's like I it takes out like my naturalness I believe like it, I just become like a different person when I'm just sitting in front of the camera versus like if I'm just like taking you along on my day I don't know if that makes sense but that's why I love vlogs the most it just feels super natural and I'm passing a park now and it reminds me that I need to reserve no, we're not gonna have it at this park. I need to reserve a area for Arlo's birthday because how is he almost two, two years old already? I'm like, psh, mine's blown. I'm still sitting outside of the gym. I just booked Arlo's birthday party. I'm super excited. They had a couple different options. I did the do it yourself. They have like a don't even do anything and it's like a thousand dollars. And I'm just like, I'm sure people do that, but not this person. So. I need to pee. I hate when I have to pee before the gym, but I have to pee. So, Arlo's birthday party is booked. So, location anyways. I just need to think about theme and all that good stuff. Scott has so much, like, so many trips planned at the beginning of, like, like, May, March, April, May. So, um, yeah. Glad I got that out of the way. Okay, let's go to the workout. Alright, you guys. It's 10.30. I'm out of my workout. I did lower body and then I just, because it's like 26 degrees, but my weather channel says it's like with the wind chill, 11 degrees out. So I'm like, um, I'm probably not gonna walk outside today. So I decided to walk on the treadmill for a little while and just watch some YouTube videos. But the treadmill I was on, and I really could have just moved, but the treadmill I was on just like kept randomly just like turning off and it was super annoying. I like told them before I left. It probably turned off like five times on me, or maybe even more. Yeah, like random times. I have no idea what was going on with it, but I was just like, oh, screw it. I'm tired. <laughs> so, um, yeah, I didn't get that many steps in. I'm at 4,000, so I will probably need to do some other physical activity. Um, but yeah, I don't, I didn't really want to walk, but it honestly feels nice. So I might do a small little walk with me or something. But just got out of my workout, good workout, and next week is the, like, week of the challenge beginning um, that I told you about. So, guys, if, you're in if you guys are interested, this is not sponsored. I just thought I'd tell you. Some of y'all ask about my workouts. Not that many, but some of y'all do. And um, I will leave the challenge that I'm doing down below. It starts on Monday. You can either do, like, a maintenance program, so, like, you just build and cut at your maintenance or build muscle at your maintenance which is what I'm doing my maintenance calories you can cut so you can lower your calories and lose fat or you can build so you are raising your calories and building muscle um so yeah I don't know I really love this guy if you have not um looked at the program or his Instagram um I'm obsessed with him and some of like my friends here in Dallas that are like really freaking fit <laughs> one of them even did a bikini model contest she or they both follow him and so i was like okay well he's clearly good and and i love his knowledge so he's super super knowledgeable so anywho let's go home and get some coffee and some breakfast and a protein shake and let's do this my gym bag from my little amazon haul that i did yesterday which I guess I'll insert my Amazon haul right now, actually. Um, but this is the bag from it, and I like it. I actually could have gone with a smaller one, but it's it's good size. It's not too big, so good purchase. Right. Oh, let in here. Let's do a little mail haul. I think this vlog is gonna go up, obviously, or this clip will be from a different day. Let me, but I wanted to share with you guys what I got because I cannot wait. I plan on filming a daily vlog tomorrow, but I can't wait. So, you know, we're gonna open things together. So I got lots of stuff from Amazon and whatnot. Let's see what I got. Oh yeah, this is my gym bag. I ordered, I wanted just a really small gym bag. Ooh, this is actually much bigger than I thought it was gonna be because my barbell pad bag, oh, it's raining, broke. It like ripped, cause it's like really cheap quality. Um, I didn't want a giant bag. I guess it's not that big. It's really not that big. I need something, obviously, to be able to put my 
thing, but I don't really carry a ton of gym stuff with me. So I just wanted this basic black, like washable material sort of thing. Um, it was like 20 bucks or something like that. I liked, I really liked the idea of getting a Lululemon one, but I did not like the idea of spending like $170. So we'll see how this one holds up. It looks fine, honestly, for what it is. It's got like zipper pockets here. It has a bag strap attachment. Like I said, I'm going to put my barbell pad, my ankle straps. Um, I do have like a, um, booty band thing, but I don't really, or like, what do you call those things? I can't think of the words, <laughs> but I also do want to bring some of my bands so I can do like some dynamic stretching. It comes with a pocket inside. It's by Boris, Boris pack. I don't know. It's very plain, but that's all I wanted. Uh, sometimes in the winter now I do wear a sweatshirt and then take it off. So I guess it would be nice to have from American Eagle. I just did a haul recently. If you haven't seen that haul, I will link it down below for you guys. But I, this shirt did not come in time for the haul, so I just did the haul anyways. But I got this in a size medium. It's just a basic like striped thermal thing. I thought it would just be a nice basic to have in my collection and it looks really cute. I love the raw hem at the bottom. Got that, not from Amazon. Um, let's see what this is. Oh, I think these are those earrings. So I recently saw on someone, I don't know whether it's Pinterest, Instagram, y'all do Pinterest. I've actually been in love with Pinterest recently, but I saw, holy manoli, there's a ton of these earrings. Okay. I saw a specific pair of earrings that I really liked. And then, um, what was I going to say? And then this was like a 10 pack or maybe not a 10 pack. One, two, three, four, five, six pack for like literally $10. So these are what I wanted, which is so cute, I think. So pretty. They're like drop pearls. But I was like, well, I might as well just get the rest of them. So I got those. And then that's what the first one comes in. These are going to take forever for me to open. Okay, this is a very large drop pearl. Yeah, and super pretty. More for like, I don't know, night outs, dinners, things like that. Not like every day. These aren't my everyday earrings. These are huge, way too big, probably, honestly. The quality is pretty good for like 10 bucks. Yeah, these I probably will never wear because they're really big, but they're cute. Um, the thing with jewelry is like, and most things in my life, if like I'm on the fence of whether I need it or not, I always go for a cheap thing, see how I wear it, and then I'll invest in a nicer piece, if that makes sense. These are really cute, they're like a drop. But they're on a post. Um, so we'll see, if I wear these a lot, then I'll probably invest in a nicer pair in the future. That's how I kind of roll. These are another sort of drop pearl with a, with a gold like stud. All these are gold accents. These are just so pretty, I think. And last but not least, I told you there's oh, six sets for like, I think it was 10 or $11. Okay, I don't remember what these look like. Okay, ooh, these are funky, whoa. It's a real big, those look interesting. I don't know why they like seem off-centered. Is the other one off-centered? Yeah. Okay, I don't really get this because it doesn't like hang correctly, but that's those. Very, very long. Touch my collarbone. <laughs> so probably won't be the largest fan of those. But nonetheless, like I said, it was super affordable for that giant pack, so I decided to go for it. And then what's next? Towels. Okay, so we like just have really old towels and I just like needed to replace them. I'm pretty sure I had like old ones and then I didn't even bring them to New York, I think, or to New York, to Florida, or to, words, to Texas um, from California. I just like donated them, I think. So we needed some new ones because Scott had some, but they were just really, ugh. and honestly, ooh, these feel nice. Um, Honestly, the ones from Target, I just think are kind of overpriced, like 20 bucks for a towel. I'm like, no. So I got, these are luxury Turkish towels, 100% genuine Turkish cotton. Um, 
you it does say you're supposed to wash these before you use them because they're not super fluffy right now but they're supposed to be fluffy Ooh, do not bleach i bleach mine all the time interesting um machine wash warm wash separately and tumble dry low so these are the hand towels i believe yeah these are the hand towels which i really like so i got it i think a one two three i think i got an eight pack of these right one two three four six six pack of these so excited to try those out um okay and then i got more towels i think and then i'll get into the pr oh my gosh more towels i know fun adult Maybe. why did this come with a box inside of a box well that's silly okay these were the same brand I believe of towels but these are the bath towels so this is gonna be the true test because I like really large bath towels I think I got four of these there's only two of us so that's all I really need Ugh. let's see yeah they're the same brand so let's see how big these guys are I hope I like them honestly the reviews were pretty solid um, I want to say it had like 40,000 reviews of like four and a half stars but some um, of the people said they just weren't what do I want to say um, oh yeah those are good uh, they're small but they're not like a problem they're big enough uh, are they yeah they'll be fine I think I got the largest bath towel they have. Ugh. Yeah, those are okay. I mean, they're definitely not huge by any means. They're like a standard bath towel. Um, yeah, because, okay, so the reason I didn't go with the, I went with this collection for the bath towels. The reason I didn't go with the largest size is because I don't need three people to wrap in a towel. Like, huh? That seems nuts to me. Oh, I could have gone with the jumbo. Are these the jumbo? I don't know. I think these are just the four piece bath towel set, not the jumbo or the oversized. The oversized fits three people. Why the heck do you need that? But they come in a bunch of different colors. I just go with white because it's easy to keep clean, but they already feel nice. So I'm excited to um, get them washed and cleaned. And I need to do our sheets too. So it'll be a whole thing. Oh. If you guys want to use this first person who gets it get you 10% off of your next purchase of two or more items it's a chance for you that's the code so whoever gets it gets it if you want to order them I'll link them down below and then I got a package from first they reached out to me and asked if they could send over some of their best-selling products and I was like yeah sure it's a drugstore brand I did not know that interesting okay so it came with this really cute little headband <laughs> love a good headband um, this I'm so excited to try, honestly. Um, this is the Baby Cheeks All-in-One Hydrating Milk. It is like a toner situation. Yeah, toner. Um, it looks so nice. I love caps like this. So I'm excited to try that out. I love hydrating toners, especially in the winter to layer skin care products on. Y'all know I'm obsessed with vitamin C's. I'm obsessed with trying new ones. So this is the Stroke of Brilliance Brightening Serum. I'm curious to see. Oh, what it looks like packaging wise I'm actually about to finish the one vitamin C that I have so I'm excited to try this and I will have all these products linked down below I think I have a coupon code too this isn't sponsored they just offered to send it to me and I'm pretty sure they offered to send me or to give me a coupon why am I struggling coupon code so yeah this is a vitamin C serum so um this is the dew point moisturizing gel cream then this is the wash it out gel cleanser with ceramides and rose water super hydrating i love ceramides they have no parabens sulfates silicones formaldehydes pegs or mineral oil so love that and then last but not least they sent me their eye cream does anyone else just go from the bottom because it's easier um i think i want to say i've seen this brand at target i could be completely wrong though oh i thought this was going to be easier 
Nope, not easier. I love the packaging, super cute. And yeah, I don't know what the prices are off the top of my head, but this is Vacation Eyes Brightening Eye Gel with Vitamin C and Ginseng Root Extract. So that is everything they sent for me. Like I said, I'll link my code here and as well as down below if you're looking for some drug scare, drug care, drugstore skincare. Like I said, I've never tried it yet, but I'm excited to try it out. And um, yeah, I that's all I have for you guys. I'll see you uh, Friday. Well, it'll be Friday. Anyways, bye. <laughs> Thursday, 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 bye. Right. I'm going to show you guys this. It's the little like kitchen helper. A lot of Amazon for Arlo. He like walks up these steps in this little bar. He like stands in here. There's cheese on it. Ignore that. We were making tacos last night. But it was like 90 bucks. Like one of the more affordable ones. And I really like the quality of it. Sorry, Miss Weenie. It's all white. I'll link it down below if you have a little one who's super interested in the kitchen. Give this a go. And it honestly fits under our countertops. So I like that. I just have it here for right now. But let's make some coffee. I washed my sneakers. That's why my sneakers are on the counter. I washed them last. Why is there hair in it? Nonetheless. Anyways, I washed my sneakers last night because they were getting dirty. But I need to clean this mess of life and make some oatmeal for Scott and I. I don't think I shared with you my new sneakers. I ended up getting the Metcon 4 by Nike and I've never owned like a full black and white pair of sneakers. I used to hate them, but I actually really like them. They're super comfy, super bendable. So yes, they're like one giant sock. I ended up needing to size up like a whole size in these because they're very like tight to get into and yeah i'm a seven and i'm normally like a six and a half seven and i'm a seven and a half in these um but i really really like them i've worked out with them for two days so far and they are good good stuff like them now oh, what do i have on the back of my already no idea guys i haven't talked to you in a minute i got ready i showered i washed my hair because my hair was so super gross and throw on some makeup and clothes like actual clothes i like never <laughs> dress anymore i really want to make it a point to do it um, and then i've just been like editing and kind of putting together some videos and whatnot i have um some videos that i need to plan out so i'm going to do that now um and yeah just getting some work things done nothing exciting it's two o'clock already i have no idea how that happened i'm gonna make a lasagna soup for dinner tonight i'm super excited um i'm going to be following half-baked harvest um lasagna soup i think it's called white lasagna soup let me let me find it let me i think i have it on my thing actually yeah she uses, I'm doing the creamy white lasagna soup. She uses prosciutto on top of it, and I'm not going to be using prosciutto, but I'm going to be putting mild Italian sausage in it, which I think will be bomb. So, yeah. That's what it's going to look like. I'm really excited. I'm going to make it with you guys later tonight, but for details, and obviously everything will be um, linked. I will link her post where she posts about it, but if you do not... If you have not checked out Half-Baked Harvest, like I am impressed by every single one of her recipes. She's the coolest chick too. I actually like, absolutely love her. So anyways, I'm gonna get some more work done in terms of prep and whatnot. And then um, I'll probably eat something cause it's two o'clock. I've had my oatmeal and my protein shake, but I probably will be getting hungry around three. So we'll see then. I probably am going to eat either leftovers or make my turkey wrap like I have been for the past freaking week. If you know, if you've tried it, you understand why it's so freaking addicting. Well, after three, this is my taco salad. Does not look appetizing, but we had tacos for dinner last night and I realized I ran out of tortilla shells while I was prepping this and then I was like, crap, I guess I'm having a taco salad. But nonetheless, we have lettuce, avocado, tomatoes, um, ground turkey seasoned with taco seasoning, uh, some Greek yogurt for sour cream, a little bit of Frank's Red Hot, so that's what's for lunch, and I wish I had tortillas, oh, I have avocado in there, did I mention avocado? Oh, cheese too, 
that's everything. <laughs> I should have added rice, but I was too lazy, or I should have added some tortillas, but I don't have any. So this is what we're working with, and I'm going to have some carbs for a snack later. Hello, you guys. I am prepping dinner now. Um, I didn't really pay attention that much to this recipe and I realized that she actually did already have a protein in here. She used chicken, but I honestly like the idea of sausage in my lasagna, like meat over chicken personally. So I'm excited to be using that. And then I also didn't realize that she said to use provolone cheese and I don't have provolone, so I'm gonna use a Havarti. I don't know if it's that similar, but <laughs> we're gonna make it work. Um, recipes don't need to be exact, you know? They don't. So, just chopping some stuff up. Scott ran to go grab Mr. Ola Maxwell. I'm excited for the soup. It is like the coldest day we've had in Dallas in forever, and I am literally just like praying that we do not have another epic winter storm that we had last year. Austin's apparently getting like sleet and stuff. Oh, and it snowed where we were. Um, over the weekend, um, but no snow here in Dallas. So, oh my goodness, my knife skills are not that good. <laughs> if you haven't, I'm sure you can tell in my videos. Scott's always like cringing when I'm cutting things, but what are you gonna do? What else is new? Oh, so Scott's said the daycare teacher yesterday gave feedback that Arlo likes to play too rough. And he's kind of like rough with some of the kids. And she has to tell him to like be gentle a lot. And I'm really glad that she gave that feedback to Scott because Scott is a reason that happens. Scott is very, um, like likes to like wrestle and play with Arlo. And I don't like it personally, but I know that's kind of like boys. It's just kind of like what they do. But I was telling him he needs to like wait to like teach him those things or play with him in that way until he knows that like it's only okay to do it with daddy or with other people who that really want you to do that because he was trying to do that with his cousin who was like five and he's not like really into things like that and he was like running away from him and it was <laughs> Scott thought it was hilarious and I'm like it's not I don't want our kid to be a bully so um I don't know if y'all have ever dealt with that feedback in the comments like a husband who's rough and likes to like throw Arlo around. And how you got him to not do that at daycare. Not that he throws people around at daycare, but you know what I mean. Oh, I do have another question for you guys. Do you enjoy, um, like obviously B-roll footage, like the, you know, the, the mundane things, whether it's sped up or it's to music, whatever the case may be. Do you enjoy like fast forwarding parts in the video? And obviously there's always gonna be a little bit of everything. Or do you prefer more like jump shots? Cause I think jump shot by jump shot, I mean, and I don't even know if that's the technical term, like where I like show you a clip for a couple seconds and then switch it. And it's to music, but it's not like fast forwarded. Cause I found myself recently really hating fast forwards. Like I fast forward through fast forwards because it drives me nuts. Um, so you'll have to let me know. I, I've pretty much changed it the last couple times that I've, Films, of course, I just, I still add a little bit of fast forwarding through certain parts, but for the most part, I kind of do jump cuts, which, um, yeah, you'll have to let me know. I don't know. I find them kind of annoying lately um, when I'm watching other people's videos, especially if it's like too much during like a cooking video. I'm just like, okay, nobody needs to see you chop vegetables for like 15 minutes, even if it's sped up. Like, nobody needs to do that. So, as I'm talking for 15 minutes while I'm cutting up vegetables. I make sense, right? What not? I'm drinking some green tea. I um, have been loving drinking green tea recently. All right, <clears throat> now I will do some jump shots <laughs> and jump cuts. Jump cuts, jump shots, outer jump cuts. Mm -hmm. 